RebeccaFredericks.com is an exciting new brand run by women for women, which believes that we need to take control of our lives and redefine what success means for the 21st century woman. The brand empowers women like you with self-confidence to go out there and create the success and therefore the lives that they want. Covering self, work, relationships, fitness, and nutrition. We provide all the tools, tips, strategies, and support you need to create a life you love. Hi, I'm Rebecca Fredericks, and welcome to RebeccaFredericks.com, the place to be for your personal and professional success. Today, we're going to be talking about visualizations, what they are, why you should be using them in your life to create the success that you're wanting, and how to do them. Visualizations are just a slightly more interesting word for the term mental rehearsal, and they basically mean hours of fun living out your fantasy life. Do I need to mention George Clooney? Okay, I won't. But seriously, visualizations are not just a lot of fun. They are an incredibly powerful tool and something you absolutely must, if you're not already, start using in your everyday life. Visualizations are basically another word for your internal representations those pictures that you create in your mind. They're internal representations that you choose to create consciously. Now, a key element for the efficacy of visualizations is the rather handy fact that the subconscious doesn't know the difference between what is reality and what is imagined. We create an internal representation for the information coming into us from real life, as well as from our thoughts, and the brain doesn't differentiate between them. So it doesn't actually know the difference between your fantasy life and your real life. How incredible is that? And what's more incredible still is that visualizations actually help to train and reprogram your brain to create the success, the ability, and the life that you were visualizing. Now this may all sound very airy-fairy, so let me give you some science. Because the brain doesn't know which internal representations reflect reality and which don't, it assumes that they're all reality. This means that every time you do something in your mind, i.e. visualize, your brain learns it almost the same as if you were doing it in real life. Now, sports coaches and trainers have been using visualizations for years and years to improve the performance of their athletes. From Michael Phelps to Andy Murray, Almost, if not all, sportsmen and women use visualizations to help them improve their performance. And this is because it's such a highly effective tool. To give you a little example of a research study into its effects, eminent Australian psychologist Alan Richardson took a team of basketball players and split them into three groups. The first group practiced their free throw technique for 20 minutes every day. The second group spent their 20 minutes per day visualizing, but not actually doing the throws. And the third group was a control group and wasn't allowed to either practice or visualize. The results showed that the control group, i.e. those that had done nothing, remained exactly as they were. But both the other groups showed similar degrees of improvement. The people who only visualized playing basketball were able to perform almost as well as the ones who actually had practiced. So even without actually picking up a basketball, the players improved almost as much as those that did. This shows you how incredibly effective visualizations are. Do you have something that you would like to get better at, but don't have the time to actually spend doing it? Is there something that you would like to excel at, but are unable for some reason to do that? If so, you definitely need to try visualizations because they are a simple way of speeding up the process of getting better at something. They work because the process fools your brain into believing that you have already done something before you actually have, or spent a lot longer performing a behavior than you have in real life. The more you visualize the same thing over and over, the better you will be at actually doing it in real life. You visualize how to do it perfectly so that when you actually come to do it in real life, your brain knows what to do because it's done it hundreds of times before. Your body knows how to move and this enables you to perform the behavior as if all those other times had been real too. Now this theory works exactly the same for anything you want to become better at in life. When I started to look at visualizations, it was one of those things I was hugely skeptical about. 
I wanted to know all of the science behind it. And I wanted to see the statistically significant research studies to prove that it worked. And I really didn't have to look far. There are countless studies and countless people who all swear by visualizations and they rely on them for their success in real life. So I started to do them. Very short ones at first. My mind is really active, always thinking, planning, running and talking. So I really had to train myself to focus, to be patient, to commit. And after a few weeks, I started to get better and better. And when you do them, your mind will wander. You will start compiling your shopping list. You will start to think about that cup of tea and hobnob you're craving. And that's totally fine. You just gently need to move your focus back onto the visualization and keep going. So let's try one now. I'm gonna do a really, really simple one because I'm guessing lots of you haven't done any kind of visualization before. Once you become really good at this visualization, try it for something more complex. Try it for that sport or that activity that you've been wanting to get better at and keep doing it over and over and over again and see what effect it has. So close your eyes and place both hands on your thighs and take three long and deep breaths in and out. In and out. In and out. Now begin to imagine an orange, a round orange colored orange. Just focus on this orange in your mind for a few seconds. Now when you have a clear image of this orange, I want you to zoom in on it. So you can imagine the orange getting closer and closer to you until it is right in front of your nose. You can see all the little blemishes and marks on its skin. You might even be able to smell it. Spend a few seconds just taking in what this orange really looks like. Focus on the details. Now move the orange back out away from your eyes and spin it around so you're now looking at it from a different angle. Play around with it. Can you imagine it bouncing up and down or exploding in front of you? Once you've done all of this, I want you to open your eyes again. And that was it. That was a visualization. Of course, that was a very, very simple one. But start with a simple one and progress on to more complicated ones. Visualizations are really just about you engaging consciously with your imagination. This will come more easily to some of you than others, but it is a skill. And as with all skills, they can be learned. So this is your exercise for the week. Practice this simple visualization a few times until the process becomes easy. And then think of something more complex that you're really wanting to get better at and start to visualize yourself doing it perfectly. Think of each move, of how it feels, of what your body is doing, of what you're saying to yourself, of what your mindset is, of what your beliefs are. Really go for it and have fun. Visualizations are really enjoyable and I bet once you start, you'll be doing them all the time. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I would love to hear from you about how you're finding visualizations and the success you have because of them. So do share your wisdom with us below. I would love to hear from you. If you've liked this episode, then please like it on Facebook and below and share it with your friends. Here's your Monday tip tweetable. Visualizations are mental rehearsal for your mind and almost as effective as practicing in real life. As always, remember that you are in control of your own life. If you want something to happen, you have to go out there and make the changes. That's not to say that others can't support you and help you. That's why I'm here and that's what your friends and family are for. Because you have all the power that you ever need inside of yourself. So use it and create a life and a future that you love. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode and thank you for listening in on my Monday tip. I'll see you next Monday.